Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Quick Notes in iPad OS 16. This video will be a complete guide on how to use Quick Notes. So we never know when a random idea will pop up in our mind and we need to be as quick as a flash to note it down. Since closing the current app we use and opening the Notes app is quite a long process and to address this problem, Apple has introduced Quick Notes. With Quick Notes, make a note of your ideas very quickly without having to leave the app that you are currently using. This is an essential feature you need to master if you have an iPad. And in this video, I will teach you how to use Quick Notes and all its hidden features. First up, I will let you know what is Quick Notes on iPad OS. Quick Notes makes the Notes app more accessible from anywhere on iPad OS 16. Like I said before, you can quickly make a note of your ideas without having to leave your current app that you are using. With iPadOS 16, Quick Notes has received some more optimizations and improvements. Suppose you are looking for some good book recommendations in Safari and came across some interesting recommendations. Let's say you want to quickly note these recommendations by creating a Quick Note without having to leave the browser. Once you create these quick notes, you can access them anywhere on your Apple devices and use any of the features available with a regular notes app. There are a few different ways to open up quick notes on iPad OS 16. So let me show you them. The first one is to use your finger gesture or an Apple pencil of any generation or any compatible stylus for your iPad OS 16. All that you need to do is swipe from the bottom right corner of the iPad screen and it will pop open up the quick note. You can start typing whatever you want or draw in the box with your pencil. You can click on the pencil icon and customize the pencil. After typing or drawing the required things, tap done to save it. You can also swipe away the box which saves automatically in the notes app. The second method is to use control center. If I go into my control center, I don't see an option for quick notes. So I'm going to go back and go into settings and scroll down on the left side and select control center and on the right side scroll down and you should see an option for quick notes. So I'm going to add this into my included controls. And if you want to change its position, you can select the three lines and you can change the position wherever you want to. Now if I go back to control center, I see an option for quick notes. Tapping on it will open up the quick notes for me. I'm going to press done. Now the third method is to use the global key plus letter Q on your external keyboard if your iPad is connected to an external keyboard. So if I press global key and Q, it will open up the quick notes for me. So I'm going to press done again. Now if you're accidentally opening up the quick notes using the corner gesture, you can change or turn it off. So here is how you're going to do it. Open up settings, scroll down on the left side and select notes. And on the right side, if you scroll down, under quick notes, you'll see corner gestures. Tap on it. Now here you can see options such as left corner swipe which is used for screenshot and right corner swipe which is used for quick notes. If you select right corner swipe, you get an option to either disable it by selecting it off or you can select quick note or screenshot for this gesture. I'm going to select this back to quick note and if you go back and if you select left corner swipe, you get to see the same options. I will go back. I will leave the default selection, but you also have an option to enable or disable allow finger to swipe from corner. I will keep it on. Next, like I mentioned before, you can easily save links, text and images from a web page into quick notes. I will open up my Safari web page and I have opened up Microsoft web page in Safari. Now I'm going to launch a quick note. I'm going to tap and hold the link shop now and I'm going to drag and drop into my quick note. All right, there you go, the link has been added. To add an image into the quick note, I will follow the same procedure. I'm going to tap and hold the image on my web page. 
and I'm going to simply drag and drop into the quick note. All right, there you go. Now to add text into the quick note, I will first highlight the text. Now I'm going to tap and hold the text and I'll simply drag and drop into my quick note. Okay, you have the text now into the quick note. You can also use your pencil to add links, text and images from a web page into quick notes. So I'm going to press done. Next, I'm going to show you how you can quickly view your quick notes on your iPad. I am back on my home screen and I will open up notes app. Under folders, you can see quick notes and in quick notes, it says one. That means I have one quick note. And if I tap on it, I can see my quick note, which is created today. And if I open it, it will open up the quick note, which I've created today. So I'm going to go back. Next, I'm going to show you how you can view all attachments that you have in your quick notes. Back in the quick notes folder, if you tap on three dots and if you select view attachments, you can see the attachments thumbnail. If you tap on that, it will open up the attachment and it will also show you the option show in note. If you tap on that, it will open up the attachment in the quick note that you created earlier. So I'm going to go back. Now let me show you how you can move quick notes on your iPad. So I'm back in my quick notes folder and I'm going to tap and hold the quick note that I want to move and I'm going to select move. Now you can choose the location where do you want to move this quick note to. If you have some notes on your iPad, it will show iPad as a location. Otherwise, it will simply show you iCloud as the location. And if you move to notes folder, it will become a standard note and it will no longer appear as a quick note. So if I move this quick note into the notes folder, you can see it does not show up as a quick note on the left side. Now I'm going to move back this note to my quick notes. So I'm going to select this and select move and select quick notes. And this time it did not move the note. It actually created a copy of my quick note in my quick notes folder. And I can still see this note in the notes folder as well. Now I'm going to show you how you can share your quick note on iPad. I'm still in the quick notes folder and I'm going to open up a quick note that I want to share. Now I'm going to tap the share button and you can choose all your sharing options from the list. You can do the same thing if you tap and hold the quick note, you get the share option. And from this list, you also get other options such as open in a new window, pin note, lock note, share note, move and delete. So if you want to pin this note on the top of the list, you can do that by selecting pin note. And if you don't want anyone to edit this note, you can select lock note. And if you want to delete this note, you can simply press on delete. Now, if you'd like to delete multiple quick notes, then you can select the three dots on the top right side and tap select notes. Now you can select the notes that you want to delete and press on delete and it's gone. Now the deleted quick notes will be in your recently deleted folder. So if you want to delete your quick notes permanently, go to recently deleted. Here, tap and hold the quick note that you want to delete and select delete. But if you want to put the quick note back into the notes folder or quick notes folder, you can simply select move instead of delete. I'm going to press delete and say delete. So I can recover the deleted note within 30 days from the deletion date. But once it gets deleted from the recently deleted folder, you won't be able to recover it. All right, that's it. So a quick note is quite a time saving feature, especially for users who love multitasking or working on ideas. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.